All right, so we got Denver going up against San Francisco. Have a great time with this one, Denver. Really. You got yourself to 500 last week, and you're going to push yourself over that this week. You got a pretty easy schedule the rest of the way, too. So Denver's likely to lock up a playoff spot. And at, man, just three games ago, you were at three and six, hating yourselves and thinking that Vance Joseph's head should be on a pike out in front of the stadium. And how quickly that sort of attitude changes once you rattle off three wins. Um, you're very, very likely to make the playoffs um, at this point as a wild card, but hey, you're going to get in. Um, Philip Lindsay looks fantastic, and I get it. Emmanuel Sanders towards Achilles. He's the best offensive player you have. I understand. Um, that shouldn't be the whole story here. It really shouldn't. Philip Lindsay is dynamite, and they're using him more and more and more, and that's going to be the hub of the offense. Um, so whereas Emmanuel Sanders is a big loss, Cortland Sutton probably could make up a good amount of that. Um, I would think Cortland Sutton is a very good fantasy football pickup for the playoffs. Emmanuel Sanders is a huge void to fill, and it's going to take multiple players in order to do that. But because Sutton's already getting into a good rhythm with this offense in the past few weeks, I think he's the one that's going to end up drawing the most of those targets. So, he's a bit of a sleeper, uh, but I have him as my fantasy football pickup of the week because he's still readily available. If you are desperate for a wide receiver or flex play, pick him up. He might surprise you. Um, on the San Francisco side of things, they have a great offensive scheme. Great offensive scheme. Um, Mullins put up, what, like 400 yards last week. They lost pretty bad, but they get yards. And as far as fantasy football matters, you know, concern, that matters. It matters a lot. Um, but the only person that's consistent with it is Kittle. There's an interesting pickup, though, again, at a wide receiver position. Um... Pettis. Pettis, he looked great. He looked fantastic. He looked like a number one wideout last week. So, I'd roll the dice on him. Um, he's available in most leagues. So, pick him up if you need wide receiver talent. Um, for the stretch run into the playoffs, if you have wide receivers hurting or being been inconsistent, uh, Pettis will get you three or four solid games. So, he's the only target that they have there with the injuries to the people in front of him. And they have a very good offensive scheme, so he'll get the ball thrown his way a lot. And he seems to be able to do some damage with it once you get it in his hands. So, pull the trigger on Pettis. You will not be disappointed. Otherwise, though, sorry San Francisco fans. You're probably losing out and looking at draft picks the rest of the way.